Here is a Galaxy Tab A8. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So as soon as you turn it on, you should be on this welcome screen where you need to choose your language. You can tap down here and you can go ahead and choose your language. I'm fine with English in the United States. I'm going to tap on Start. A few legal items to review. You can go and clap on Details to read each of these. In order to proceed, you must click at least the first two. Okay, but I'm fine sending the um, diagnostic data, which is optional as well. Okay, so I can just click down here for all of them. That's fine for me. I'm going to tap on Next. Choose a Wi-Fi network. I'm going to go ahead and go to my network right now so I can get the latest software update. I'm going to put in my password. After you type in your Wi-Fi password, tap on Connect. You can see it says connect it right there. And I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes, so just be patient here. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more. If you want to do that, you can go ahead and tap on next right here. And you can see you can use your old device. You need an Android phone, iPhone, or an iPad device, okay, you can transfer that way. For me, I'm going to do a clean slate here, so I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to put on don't copy for myself, okay, so don't copy for me. Asking me for my uh, Gmail account, which is my Google. I'm going to go, I'm going to do this one later, because I don't remember my password here, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip. I'm going to skip right there. Again, I'll just do that later. Google services, you have a uh, use location, allow, sent, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data, install updates and apps. These are all optional, okay? I'm fine with having them all toggled on for myself and I'm going to go ahead and tap on accept. Protect your tablet using a password. For myself, I'm just going to use a pin for now, and then later on, I'll go ahead and uh, do the face recognition. But for now, I would recommend putting some kind of password in, okay? So for me, I'm, I'm fine with the pin here first. So for the pin, put your four-digit number in, and then tap on Continue. And you need to confirm again one more time. After you type in a second time, tap on OK. Samsung account, you can go ahead and log into your Samsung account, or you can go ahead and create an account. For myself, I'm not even going to use my Samsung account, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip. And I can skip and I can always uh, sign back in later or create an account later as well. You're all set up. Let me tap on finish right there. And voila, you guys are in business. So pretty simple. Any questions or issues? Just comment below. Good luck, guys.